Hello and welcome to a new video and today we are on the SE Manong again. Our port today is Antwerp in Belgium and here on the map you can see our route today. Also this video was filmed in cooperation with SE Tours but they do not have any influence on the content of this video but still it is marked as an ad. And here you can see the early bird breakfast that is served before the regular breakfast as I woke up very early today to make my ship tour that you maybe already saw. But then I visited the regular breakfast and after that it was time to leave the ship. That was docked at the Kattendijk dock, one of the two central docking locations in Antwerp. The cruise terminal at the Scheldt River is a bit closer to the city center but also from here it is possible to walk into the city center or you can take the tram if you want to take the tram i recommend downloading the the line app as there are no ticket machines at the tram station and the app is the easiest way to get a ticket but you can also use your credit card on board the trains if it is working contactless. With this old tram we are now heading to the main station of Antwerp because this is one of the main tourist attractions, not to leave the city but just to see the station itself. Here you can see it and as you can see it is a very beautiful station, it's also called a cathedral, the railway cathedral and the interior is even more spectacular than the exterior. Here you can see it, it is one of the most beautiful train stations in the world so it's an absolute must to see it during your stay in Antwerp and that's the reason why we started our tour here in this magnificent building which is located a bit outside of the city center but from the Kattendijk dock it's very easy to access by taking the tram from the station called London and then you can take a tram directly to the main station. Also the station hall is nice to see so make sure to wander around a little bit through this beautiful building and after that it is not too far to walk to the shopping street of Antwerp which is starting just a few hundred meters from the main station. Antwerp is perfect for shopping as there are stores of almost all famous brands and of course we also stopped at the Friture which is the place where you can get fried food, mostly the famous Belgium fries. Very close to the Friture that we visited is the St. Anna Tunnel, which is a tunnel under the Scheldt River. Already the way down is quite interesting because it has these very old and interesting wooden escalators. And it is also a big recommendation to visit this place if you're visiting Antwerp in summer and it's very hot because down in the tunnel it's always refreshing and cool. The temperature is always the same. The tunnel is about 600 meters long so it's quite a long walk and here we can also already see the tunnel which is only for pedestrians and cyclists. And here we can see it in a total length so it is quite an impressive building also it's always impressive to know that you're walking under a river and on the other side you have this beautiful view of Antwerp. you also saw some cruise ships this is the second docking location this is the cruise terminal at the Scheldt River it's a bit closer to the city but you will miss a lot of the harbor when you're departing and heading back to the Netherlands from the Kattendijk dock you will go all the way through the harbor of Antwerp. We will see that later on in the video. And then we took a tram back to the city center. It's only one stop, also in a tunnel under the river. And as we bought a 24 hours ticket with the tram, we could just easily step on board and leave the tram on the other side of the river, directly in the middle of the city. Here we have the famous cathedral and also a lot of other sites are around this central square. Then we wanted to visit a certain store which was close to the main station so we went back to the main station but we didn't find what we were looking for so we headed back to the tram and back to our beautiful SE Manong in the Kattendijk dock but it's also possible to take a tram directly from the city center to a station very close to our ship. And here we are back at the station London where we left the tram and then it's just a few meters to the cruise port Kattendijk dock where we can see our beautiful SE Manong already waiting for us and almost ready for departure. 
the remaining time until the all on board time we spent at the library at the back of the ship. Also we watched the opening of a bascule bridge and one special thing about the Cat and Dyke dock in Antwerp is that also for us a bridge has to be opened so that we can leave this port and this is only done once per hour so we had to depart on time. We even left a bit earlier just to make sure that we for sure will not miss the opening of the bridge otherwise it will cause a big delay. And as our ship is only 110 meters long, it was no problem to turn the ship in the port, even though it's also possible with the bigger ships that are 135 meters long. But before we are reaching the point to turn, we are going backwards out of the port where our ship was docked. And then there's one specific place with a bit more space where we can turn the ship safely, which is also quite an interesting thing to watch as it kind of looks that the ship is turning slowly, but if you're fixing a certain point at the front or the back of the ship, you will see how fast these ships are actually turning and they are turning on the spot, 360 degrees. It's possible with the ships as they have modern both thrusters and modern propellers at the end that are turnable in general, most ships do have that now. So it is actually possible to turn on the spot. And that's also what we did here. You can see that it is actually quite fast. After turning we still had to wait a bit until the bridge opened but waiting is quite nice here because you're waiting right in front of the famous Havenhaus, the harbor house which was designed by the famous architect Zaha Hadid and it was built on top of an old fire station and it looks like a ship, a ship hall or also like a diamond which suits perfectly to the Diamond City of Antwerp. And now the bridge is opening for us, so it's time to leave the Katzendijk dock. And that means that we are now entering the port of Antwerp, one of the biggest ports in Europe, second biggest after Rotterdam. And it also means that we are now sailing at the same spot like big ocean going vessels. So this is very interesting. And if you're lucky, you will also pass very closely with the big ocean ships. In our case, the ocean ships were all docked, so it was not too spectacular, but still very, very interesting. And now the bridge is open, so it's time to leave the port. And as you can see, it's not too easy to leave this port. It's very narrow and it's getting even more difficult because straight after passing this bridge, you have to turn sharp left to head to the Scheldt Rhine Canal. That is bringing us back to the Netherlands, where we have our next destination in the city of Nijmegen, close to the border with Germany. And now you can enjoy the scenic ride through the port of Antwerp without any comments so that you can enjoy watching the huge ocean going ships here in the port of Antwerp.
Now we have crossed the port of Antwerp and that means that we are now heading to the Shell de Rhine canal, the canal that we also arrived through and then it was time for another dinner on board and after that we spent the time in the library again as we didn't want to join the evening program on board and instead we were editing a few of our pictures and the videos and the library is perfect and also again we were watching other ships passing by as I said in the last video on this canal most cruise ships that are going to and coming from Antwerp are meeting so there's always a lot to see when you're sailing on the canal and we also passed two locks the Kriegrak Schleusen and also the Volkerak Schleusen as the library of the SE Manong has an outdoor area it's perfect to watch the maneuver in the lock from the library in the back of the ship. And after watching some more river cruise ships passing by it was time to go to sleep and that's it for this video I hope it was interesting for you here you can see the name of the song and when the next video from the city of Nijmegen will be uploaded as always I'd like to say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please consider to comment like subscribe or share with your link and I hope to see you in my next video